Strong people of an unbreakable country. Today is the 18th day, the 18th day of our war for life, for Ukraine, for independence. The beginning of this day was black. Russian missiles and air bombs hit our country again, from east to west. 30 missiles for the Lviv region alone. The shelling of the International Center for Peacekeeping and Security killed 35 people and wounded 134 others. Nothing was happening there that could threaten the territory of the Russian Federation, and only 20 kilometers away on NATO borders. Last year, I had a clear warning Last year, I made a clear warning to NATO leaders that if there were no tough preventative sanctions against Russia, it would start a war. We were right. I have been saying for a long time that Nord Stream is a weapon that will hit Europe. Now it's obvious. And now I repeat again. If you do not close our sky, it is only a matter of time before Russian missiles fall on your territory, NATO territory, on the homes of citizens of NATO countries. An American journalist was killed in the Kiev region today, Brent Renard. His colleague was wounded. It was a deliberate attack by the Russian military. They knew what they were doing, but not everyone in the West seems to know what they are doing. In the east of our country, the invaders decided to demilitarize and denazify the Sviatohrsk Lavra of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church, Moscow Patriarchate. At the time of the attack, only monks and hundreds of refugees were on the territory of the monastery. No military target in or near the monastery, but Russian troops do not stop even before striking at the monastery. This fact alone demonstrates that the whole ideology of the Russian state is simply a lie. Today I visited our guys, our defenders, who are recovering from wounds at a military hospital. We talked. I presented awards, orders and medals for courage, for glory for Ukraine. And I really want my greeting, I wish you good health, to work today as powerfully as our armed forces have been holding key frontiers for 18 days already. By the way, the Russian military from Ryazan is being treated in the same hospital. He's in the same ward with our defenders, gets the same aid from the same doctors, despite what the guy was doing, against us, against Ukraine. But Ukrainian doctors saved him, and this is obvious, because they are people, not savages. And we have to go through this war so that we all remain human. Сил вам, ви молодці, заради вас і на ваших плечах все це. Це найголовніше. Поправляємо? Поправляйте обов'язково. Це важливо. Добре.